you are about to enter another dimension, a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. Uh, hang on, hang on, that's the introduction to the Twilight Zone. It's a completely different gig, sorry, go with me. Wholeness, yeah, okay, right. Good. Now, over the last few years, I've become quite interested in the confluence between modern science and our basic intuitions about what it is to be a human being. In my view, our scientific understanding should always be held up against everyday experiences that we have, and if we don't find consonance between the two, then we need to critically examine both our experiences and our science in order to seek alignment. It seems to me that too often in history we've cheapened our view of ourselves just because our basic intuitions don't seem to align with what science tells us. Take free will, for example. I read the other day about a new book by a behavioural scientist who's once again setting out the case against free will. And I want to ask him, have, have you written this book in order to persuade us of that fact? Now, pushing this case for alignment a bit further, what are we then to make of the more extraordinary experiences that happen to people even today? And of course, scientists are people too. I mean, there are books like this one and this one that have recently come out and detail, you know, scientists' own um, stories about extraordinary, you might say, mystical experiences that have happened to them. Now, as we know, the wisdom traditions speak of a direct experience, the connection with a fundamental ground to reality. It's always fundamentally, again, ineffable, yet seems to have the characteristic of wholeness. A disappearance of distinctions, blurring the lines between subject and object, and perhaps even an immersion into some fundamental conscious ground to reality. Now, there are certain markers which we know delineate the edges of our scientific understanding. But I think that gently stepping across those boundaries in order to try and alliance the science that we know with experiences such as these is a very rich and interesting exercise. If we start asking questions like, how do these experiences align with my understanding of time? Or what does this tell us about the nature of consciousness? Then maybe we'll start to pick up some important clues about scientific things that we currently have no foothold in whatsoever. If wholeness is a fundamental characteristic of ultimate reality, then even now, if our experiments are several layers away from this ultimate ground of being, it may be that some echo of that wholeness is starting to show up even now in our scientific results. In this new series of PARI webinars, we've gathered experts from across the sciences to discuss their work with them and see to what extent this may be revealing this underlying wholeness. We're going to hear from particle physics and cosmology, psychoanalysis, global consciousness, neurology, indigenous cultures and quantum theory. It all starts on the 4th of November, so please come and join the discussion. There are going to be links to the webinars in the associated comments and, of course, on the PARI website.